We're on the next Callista book, Dark Saber. All right, I gotta say, um, well, before I get to that, so basically, a year after the events of uh, Children of the Jedi, <clears throat> the Huts are planning to make their own version of the Death Star called the Dark Saber. Yes, people, another super weapon. <laughs> it's kind of becoming a cliche with these Bantam books, but it's fine because, yeah. And then Luke Skywalker is struggling to try and help Callista, you know, find the Force again because when she went into Kray Mingla's body, she lost the ability to use the Force. So they're going, kind of going it on like dates and all that and going to all these places. They're like strong in the Force to try and, you know, deal with that. And meanwhile, while all this is going on, Admiral Dalla, yes, she's back. She goes, um, joins up with all these warlords and tries to convince them you know, to join up with her, which she eventually has her way. I won't spoil what she does, but I didn't know this was the book it happened in. I read about it in the Central Guide to Warfare, I think. Yeah, I think that's where I read it. So anyway, um, Hut Super Weapon is being worked on by Bevel Lemelisk one of the people who helped design the Death Star in the first place. And <laughs> goes into his backstory and <laughs> it's kind of gruesome and scary. <laughs> mm. Admiral Dalla, as always, is a, a great villain. It's great to see her. And you learn a little bit more about her and all that. And during the hut. Durga the Hutt, this guy was pure fun, I gotta say. <laughs> like, I enjoyed every minute of this hut. Uh, I created this really funny hut voice that's very over the top in my head, and... <laughs> he was just pure fun. Pure, campy fun, I gotta say. Oh, but what else? Oh yes, I forgot to bring up, Admiral Dalla also attacks the Jedi Academy and there's some really cool stuff that goes on uh, with all that, like... Dorsk81 is one character um, I would never thought would get, you know, his moment to shine in here, like, it, it just was unexpected, like... He had a lot of growth, you know, coming to terms with, you know, being a Jedi Knight and not just being another clone and he becomes a brave Jedi who sacrifices himself. Now I won't spoil what he does but what he does is just so badass and it's one of the greatest force feats ever done in Star Wars. But it's so cool. Now, as I said in my last review, I never minded, you know, Callista and Luke's romance. I mean, I prefer Luke and Mara, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been angry if they gone the Luke and Callista route. But yeah, the romance was kind of doomed, and because. Because she was without the Force, she didn't feel like she was his equal. And usually in relationships, you know, it's a good thing to, you know, feel equal with your partner, I'd say. And so that kind of really damaged their relationship. <clears throat> oh, what else? 
What else do I have to say about this book? Now, because this book is written by Kevin J. Anderson, the writing quality is just significantly better than Barbara Hanley's. Like, it's so much better because, I don't know, her writing style was just off to me. I mean, as Matt Wilkins said in his review, like, Barbara Hanley writes a great comedy. <laughs> but just the rest of her style was just off. And I'd have to say, so far, this is just a huge step up from Children of the Jedi, just in all areas. It's just far superior. And so far, I'd say a Dark Saber is the best of the Callisto trilogy. It hands down, like There wasn't really that much of a like bad moments. You know, I just got to say the weakest part of the book has to be the Luke and Callista stuff because it just kind of goes nowhere and just ends tragically. But the stuff with Durga the Hutt, Admiral Dalla, uh, Kip Durin, and Dorsk 81, that stuff is amazing. And now, this is one book in the Callista trilogy, you know... You just cannot skip. It's fantastic. Kevin J. Anderson is a great writer. and Now, you probably won't like this book if you don't like, you know, the Bantam era cliches, like, you know, the super weapons and all that, which, you know, I'm fine with. I haven't gotten tired of the super weapons <laughs> yet. But... Overall, very fantastic book, like I said. Next up is Planet of Twilight. Now, I've heard some weird things about this one, and let's see if it is indeed the weakest of the Callista trilogy, so <laughs> I'll see you guys around.